another type of, of shoulder replacement is the reverse shoulder uh, replacement, and that's for patients who have chronic rotator cuff tears. And when, if you have a chronic rotator cuff tear, you can develop arthritis because of that. And then there's a whole different kind of shoulder replacement where you actually put a ball where the socket would be and a socket where the ball would be. And what that does is take away the arthritic surfaces. So you're, instead of bone on bone, you're metal on plastic, but it also gives your uh, deltoid a fulcrum to work against. Normally the rotator cuff would hold the ball in the socket and sort of create that fulcrum. But when your rotator cuff is gone, you don't have it anymore. So this recreates the fulcrum. Most patients with shoulder arthritis have a, a pretty good rotator cuff. So what you're doing in that situation is basically doing an anatomic reconstruction. So they do, I think, have a, a, a better shoulder than if you do the reverse. The reverse has, well, one of the problems with the reverse is, is that it's really not indicated unless you're over 70. It has some risks in terms of instability. Um, it's, it's, patients are a lot better, but they're not perfect. A shoulder replacement in someone who has arthritis in their shoulder joint but an intact rotator cuff, they have a better shoulder.